Welcome back to Coin6 News this morning. It is 6.30. It is Friday the 13th, so if you're superstitious, be careful today. Mm -hmm. I'm Ken Boddy. And I'm Emily Burris, joined by Travis Tyke and meteorologist Josh Cozart. I don't know about you guys, I'm not superstitious, I'm a little stitious. Just a little stitious? Just a little yeah. stitious. <laughs> <laughs> We've I, been I to. seeing you throw the salt over your uh, shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, just a little. But hey, we are very excited because we're a little more than 24 hours away now from that so-called ring of fire eclipse, the annular solar eclipse happening tomorrow morning right here across Oregon. The eclipse will start tomorrow morning just after 8 o'clock. Uh, we expect it to peak around 9.20 a.m. and end at 10.40 tomorrow morning. According to NASA, an annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth but doesn't completely cover the sun. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, what you need in order to see that. I'm putting the glasses cool over Boom. my glasses. Boom. Uh -huh. uh, I waited to put these on because you literally <laughs> cannot see anything. <laughs> it's oh, pitch black. It's pitch black. Yeah. Can't read the teleprompter. Right. Can't see you. I don't I know, know why. You're there. I don't know why I'm even turning to look at you. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can see the lights just a little bit, but just yeah. a little I mean, bit. they're kind of bright. But yeah, 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 these are designed to protect your eyes. So you can stare right at the sun. Uh, mm -hmm. Depending on where you are here in the state, uh, you might see that full ring of fire. Yeah. We're going to be, what, in like the 85% coverage here in the Portland area? Yeah, Portland will see about 86% of the sun covered. Okay. That is if the clouds do not eclipse the eclipse. Well, mm -hmm. there you go. Minor, yeah. minor detail. Uh, minor details. <laughs> but uh, regardless, no matter any point in time, you should not be taking these off to look at the eclipse whatsoever. But I'll take them off now because we're just looking at some graphics here, say for the eyes, as we expect to see the eclipse happen all happening tomorrow morning. And it just so happens to fall right over the Pacific Northwest. Oregon locking out. That is if the cloud coverage behaves. But the best spot to see that ring of fire that's going to be situated right over the Eugene Springfield, Roseburg area, Crater Lake, also a prime spot. But if you're not planning on traveling to the south, you'll see about 86% of the sun covered by the shadow of the moon. It all gets underway at about 8.06, but the peak of the coverage, that's going to happen at 9.19. And as far as that cloud coverage go, uh, well, it could potentially be causing some issues. But I think we have a better chance actually in the Portland area to maybe see just a few breaks in the cloud coverage where you'll be able to pick up on that view. But if you are traveling to the south, Eugene, maybe seeing temperatures into the 50s, but the clouds, they will remain. But coming up in my extended forecast, we're going to be discussing how the wet weather might play in to the rest of your weekend plans. But in the meantime, I'm going to go stare at the sun off in the distance. <laughs> okay, thanks, <laughs> right. Josh.